In this lesson we'll be um, learning the difference between uh, block, blocks and floating elements. Um, if you look at the, at the tiles, I've defined some, some dimensions and, and properties to them uh, that we've seen at the, during the box model lesson. And you see that they all display on one line. So we have the div and then there's a clearing and then we have another div. So they're not displayed, even even though they could fit, they could fit in one next to the other, um, they're, they're shown um, like this. Um, if we want them to stick to each other and try to occupy all the space, we need to use a property called, to, we need to make them floating elements. And then we specify if they float to the left or to the right. Um, I'm gonna make them float to the left, just to show you what this is going to make. So now see how, as I change the dimension of the page, that um, the elements um, occupy all the space that they can. And it's um, important to understand that this is uh, this can be used. Uh, you can keep this in mind if you're thinking of, say, different screen resolutions. So think if we're we're on desktop or we're on a tablet or we're on a mobile phone. On a mobile phone, it's going to be smaller, and they are going to occupy all the space that can they can because the container they're inside that main container that I created, it doesn't have a fixed dimension, a fixed width. If it had a width, then these blocks would only occupy as much as they could, provided that they don't go outside of that of that dimension. So I'm going to give this element an ID, which is going to be main container, and I'm going to add that ID to my code. I'm going to select the element by the, its ID, and we'll give it a width of 900 pixels. Don't forget to add the pixels when you write these numbers, or it's not going to be recognized. Um, so you can see now that two things happen. If I make this bigger, they don't occupy more space than what they can, which is 900, and it's actually being marked by this blue line. Um, but that's something, something cool brackets does that it sort of uh, shows you what's going on in the browser. And also, if I if I redu if I reduce the size of the screen they are still not going below because even though the sc um, screen is smaller, the width of the container is still 900. And if I take the, the floating property away, um, there are blocks again, and I could also um, make them float um, to the right, in which case it would work um, in a different manner. So, just to summarize, um, when you make elements float, they, they stick to each other. If you make them float to the left, they'll go all to the left or to the right, if you specify right. And they'll try to occupy all the space they can. And the space they can occupy can be the entire uh, browser screen, if no, if no uh, bigger container it has a certain width, or they'll, they'll respect um, the width that their, their container has.